So what is this stacking context? For that, we have another code example right here. And what we can see are three parent elements. So we have the navigation, the headline, and contact us. And inside the headline, we have three children, image one, image two, and image three. From a code perspective, this looks like this. We have on the HTML side, of course, the class for navigation and for headline. As I said, inside the headline, we have the three images, also referred to as classes. And we have our contact us div down there. On the CSS side, we basically have some general styling applied to all these elements. The really important thing though is that we applied position fixed to all parent elements right here. And that's also the reason why navigation is at the bottom. Then we have headline on top of it and then contact us on top of the other elements. And now you probably say, yes, I know this, we talked about that. We know that these are fixed elements. We know that these are taken out of the document flow. They all have a Z index of zero. And because of that, the order in the HTML document defines the order these are displayed along the Z axis, which is totally correct because we can see that navigation is the first, then headline, then contact us. So contact us is the one positioned at the top. We can also change that. This is also something that we learned. So we could, for example, go to our headline right here and now add a Z index of one, for example, like that. And if we now reload the page, we know that headline is positioned on top of all elements. So this is what we know so far, nothing new. I just wanted to make sure that we have the same starting point because stacking context comes into play when we play around with these children right here. Because let's say that we apply another set index for our contact us form, which is 100, like that. With that, we know that contact us is back on top again. But let's now focus on to these three images. Because what happens if I also apply position fixed to all three images, and then apply a Z index to one of these images, for example, that is above the Z index of the contact us element. Let's do it step by step. Let's first apply position fixed. Right here, right there, and for the third image, like that. If I now reload the page, yeah, we can see that the elements are now positioned fixed, we know that so far, and that image three is on top of these elements. This means if I would go back and add a Z index to image two, let's say of one again, then image two will be positioned on top of these images. If I would change the value to minus one, for example, like that, well, then the element is below the other elements. So image two cannot be moved below the actual headline element, below its parent. But what happens now if I change the Z index again, and as I said a few seconds ago, make it higher than the one we have for contact us. Contact us right here has a Z index of 100. And let's now say I add a Z index of 1000 right there. This is far above the one we have for contact us. If we go back and reload the page, you can see that image two is again above the other two images, but it's still below contact us. Why is this happening? Well, the reason for that is simply the stacking context. And what does this mean? Well, basically we aligned all our parent elements along the Z axis. That's what we know. And by adding position fixed to these, each element has its own stacking context. This means for the elements inside the headline element, the Z index will only have an impact onto the order of these elements inside the headline element. But the general order of the headline element below contact us, this is defined by the Z index that we apply to the headline element right here. What does this mean? If I change the headline Z index again to let's say 200, which is above, the 100 of contact us, then it will be displayed above it, including all of the children, of course. But if I change it back to a value below the Z index of contact us to 99, for example, 
then it's displayed again below it and we can apply whatever Z index we want to the images because these are part of the stacking context of headline. And therefore the positioning of the parent elements has nothing to do with these Z indices for these parent elements, only the Z index of the parent elements itself has an impact. And this is the stacking context. You probably won't be confronted with that on a day by day coding basis, but from time to time it can be helpful to have this in mind in case you are not sure why your element is behaving the way it is behaving right now. And with that, we finished the last important core concept of this position module. Now let me summarize what we learned in the next video.